I'm Diana Mayolis, I'm telling you stories and travels by Diana in Cleveland. We are here in Alvaro Bello in Bari. We are actually inside of an original rulo, so the predominant type of dwelling that we have in this area. And we have Signore, come si chiama? Pasquale. Il cognome? Shistri. Shistri. Un po' interessante, certo. La famiglia dei Etruschi, vediamo noi. Ah, davvero? Anche la ah. perché tu il cognome che finisce con la I sì. provengono dai, dai, dai cassati e dagli etruschi comunque. Che bello! So his last name ends in an I and they're able to trace back his family name to the original Etruscans, which come from north of here. So that's very fascinating. So I'm half Pugliese, we're in the region of Puglia. Io sono metà Pugliese. Mia mamma di casa Massima ah, e mia nonna noi quattro. Ah, sì. Ci vuol dire qualcosa in dialetto? Allora, parla un po' l'informazione sulla casa, come che è una cosa che è stata nella tua famiglia. No, dai, che vergogna! No, dai, he's a little, he's a little embarrassed, but he's told him not to be. Ho abituato qui fino all'88. Ah, oh, ok. So he lived Giustamente i figli come già una crescita, sì. le esigenze sono cambiate. Certo. Quindi oggi c'è una disposizione per tutti, perché certo. tutti hanno diritto di vedere come si viveva, come è conformata l'interno. Bello. So he lived here. È un onore per me. Ah, è grazie. Bellissimo. Sì, infatti, anche per noi è un onore. Allora. So he lived here until 1988, his children grew up, and now the house has been kind of open to the public because he said everyone has the right to understand how the people in this area have lived for centuries. So for him it's an honor to have guests every day visit and he gets to meet new people and explain a little bit the history of this area. You know, this my domani, Oh, so he's thinking in retirement that he and his wife will come back and enjoy the trullo. It would be perfect for a couple. Bene, grazie. E he said, qui è un paradiso. This is a paradise. It's truly a paradise. Grazie. Piacere. Okay. It's just an emotional moment um, being inside of Mr. Pasquale's Trullo because he is very devoted. He's very faithful and very devoted to Padre Pio, which is an amazing saint here who's so reverent here in Italy. And um, he was explaining to us that his oldest grandchild at five years old found that they had an inoperable brain tumor. And they brought him to Padre Pio, to the area where Padre Pio was born. And um, they worship him. And he's 18 years old now, and there's no trace of a tumor. And they, they basically put it in the hands of the saint and believe it so much that the boy is cured, so it's pretty fabulous. And so we had a little bit of a tearful moment. For me, it's very emotional being back here in Puglia because my mother was from here, my grandparents, and it's been a long time since I've visited and spent some time here. It's a really kind of raw and genuine area of Italy, so I'm very happy to be here.